Now, some of you may remember I had a little theory about David Shitrat. Now, Wizard of Cause went on to Twitter. And uh, when he was on Twitter, he got into an argument with David Shitrat. And during their argument, it came out uh, from Wizard of Cause saying, David, the only reason this alt-right shit is going on, the only reason that server was set up, the only reason all of this happened is because basically an alt-right girl rejected you, who people speculate is Lauren Southern, and you're going on an internet war to get revenge for that. Now that's, you know, that's just, that's one guy saying that. Everybody believes that Kraut and T was the original person that set all this up. But, you know, I want to lay a little groundwork for what's coming up with our friend Shitrat. Because uh, Kraut's got a different take on it. And it kind of lines up, <laughs> kind of lines up with Wizard of Cause. Let's give it a listen. I'm, I'm sure that went fucking well. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'll leave it alone because I, I just I don't want to when right, sense right. like that. Uh, yeah, I'm letting him know I'm not talking to anybody, but if I go up here, he has what do we got? Uh, he feels personally wrong by me. I remember one time a couple of Twitter accounts ago, shit rat in his this idiot takes me seriously by people he shouldn't be referring to me. Uh, see, he has been on YouTube for like five years now, never cracked 15,000 subs. Uh, despite constantly kissing up to Sargon and bigger people, I'm along get 25k in nine months, my first channel. And when I came back, I got 60. Who is it talking about? Who's this person that I never cracked the rat here? Sure, rat. Uh, Spino, he actually had a lot of subs. Yeah, this is <clears throat> I know again. Yeah, how long more subs than he had now. I was, I was just asking, what the how does it get like this? Where like motherfuckers are trying to wreck? I, I, I don't know why you recruit this spider. Honestly, the guy is dumb as a brick, and he doesn't I didn't really recruit spider. That's the funniest part. Like spider kind of approached me. And by mm. the way, everybody, I didn't recruit David Shitrat to do the gay Discord ops. David Shitrat, <laughs> David Shitrat recruited me to do it. So that almost corroborates what Wizard of Cause was saying. That David Shitrat, because he got rejected by Lauren Southern, because David's not a big boy. He's got a little bit of autism. He tinkles himself and has to have mommy clean up after him. So I guess Lauren wasn't really turned on by that and didn't decide to take him up on the offer of a date. Uh, because that happened, that heartbreak happened. David Shitrat decided to wage jihad against the alt-right and recruited, he recruited our little trout here, brought him in. Brought him into the fold. You know, I, what I find really stunning is, over the last three to four weeks, every time I've tried to do a stream about David, something else has popped up that has distracted me from doing a stream about David. That's why we're splitting this into two parts. Because David's going to be covered tomorrow. I don't know what kind of voodoo magic he's working. What kind of super autism that he has. But um, if he's out there recruit <laughs> recruiting Kraut, our you know genius strategist, it's uh, whew, it's not looking good. Little shit rat, little puddle pants, recruiting, recruiting crowd to do the dirty work. So I just I find it bizarre that you've got a group of people that are all gathered together, that seemingly are all friends with each other now, that are talking about doing gay ops with each other, talking about doing PR campaigns with each other, are sharing information with each other, hanging out in discords with each other, and they all seem to have the same narrative when it comes to. Dealing with anybody they don't like. When the thing about Andy happened, even though they say they knew that it was the people from the anime mafia, even though they said they knew that it was people that couldn't be trusted, they took that information and all used the exact same smear to go after them. A smear that Andy is a pedophile. It's a smear I've heard before. When somebody uh, called me a child groomer. It's almost like it's a new tactic, a new, a new game plan to go forward with. Let's let's paint them as something atrocious to kill that fan base, to, to put them in a negative light so they can't recover from it. And we'll do it by any means necessary. Boy, that, I mean, that would sound like a crazy conspiracy theory, you know, unless all these people happen to hang out together, apparently, and all talk strategy with each other about how to do gay ops with one another. Like, you know, clearing up Kraut's name was the first step. Making sure people didn't think he was a doxer was the first step. Wanting to... Get revenge on Braving Ruin was a part of it. Wanting to go back after the alt-right is apparently a part of it. Uh, taking care of Andy Worski is now apparently a part of it. Because, you know, we've got to use that information to, to really teach Andy a lesson. Because I, I guess he didn't kiss the fucking ring. He didn't go out there and kiss the ring. 
Now, if you remember what I said earlier about Kraut and T and how that worked, what, what did we find out about Kraut and T? Well, he wanted to put the information out so it was public, and then he could use it without looking like he was the one that put it out himself. If the information's already publicly available on Kiwi Farms, then he's not guilty of doxing or passing around information. His hands are clean. Now, even though Kraut didn't end up doing anything with the CRP info, he didn't do like a specific video, Sargon of Akkad did. He put up a CRP video using the information from Kiwi Farms. But do you, do you think they ever did anything similar? I mean, do you think there's any instance or maybe something pointing to that, that maybe that happened somewhere else? Like, God, I don't know. I, I don't know. Let me, just, let me just pull up two sites here, and then I'll show you. I'll, I'll let you take a look, and you tell me what you think. <laughs> tell me if this strikes you as being similar to putting information up on a third-party site to maybe perhaps use it later. I, I don't know. So here's Sargon of Akkad's Hello Jim stream. So his stream goes up September 16th. Interestingly, over on Encyclopedia Dramatica, on September 14th and September 15th, my article is updated by a very large amount. Lots of stuff is put up there. You can see that it goes from 11,000 to 26,000. Somebody, somebody really updated that. What, what's that name there? Cobalt Cat. Okay, well, Cobalt Cat, where have I heard that name before? Oh, yeah, that was a comment on another Sargon video. I wonder, what, what did he have to say on the other Sargon video? Let's take a look. Cobalt Cat. But I'm still curious as to why you gave out several of Jim's old shenanigans to Encyclopedia Dramatica, a website you stated you love, like his old videos such as... And there's a list of old videos here. I'm still curious, why did you give Encyclopedia Dramatica information about Jim? Huh. That, that name looks familiar, Cobalt Cat. Cobalt Cat, right before his stream, yeah, September 14th, September 15th, September 16th. It's, it seems like, I mean, it would almost seem like Sargon of Akkad gave information to Encyclopedia Dramatica so that it could appear publicly and that he might be able to use it on his stream, but for whatever reason, I guess, pussied out. Oh, God, that sounds familiar. Who else did something like that? Might it have been, I don't know, might it have been Kraut by going to Kiwi Farms to do the same fucking thing? Deep, deep lore. The deepest lore. But I'm sure it's just a coincidence, chat. I'm sure I'm sure it's just a coincidence. Obviously, noggins are a joggin. It's just a group of people hanging out together in a Discord, doing gay ops with each other. Just a complete and utter coincidence. You know, the more interesting thing is, and I wish I could have found it, but I'm pretty sure Cobalt up on Kiwi had said in either the Sargon thread or another one, I wonder why he never used the info. Hmm. I wonder why he never used the info. Ah, deepest lore. Deepest, darkest lore. Just a coincidence. Just a coincidence.